very post-apocalyptic, especially when you have all these memories of water flowing and economy thriving and people meeting. This young woman says those memories are destined to make a comeback, just like many of the 80s songs she sings with her band, Miranda and the M80s. She grew up on Whipsome Lake, and now she's using her stage to give her hometown a voice. A big voice, a small town girl, and a persona larger than life. I love performing. It's what I was really born to do. Beaverton High School grad Miranda Amy was born to perform, singing every weekend in the band Miranda and the M80s, a role that happened by chance for a waitress asked by a customer to audition for the lead in his band. I thought, man, this will never work. You know, um, how will I gel? after growing up singing like dinner music and yodeling and training classically. She hit them with her best shot, nailed the audition, and hit the road with her new bandmates in 2013. But the devastation to her hometown in May of 2020 sang a lyric to her heart, pulling her back to her roots. In all reality, I'd hoped that it had come in the form of Upon getting a record deal, I would purchase an activity center for the youth in Beaverton or, you know, something to a much grander scale. But um, starting here feels like a better place than any. Miranda and the M80s performed to a packed house at the Northern Lanes in Sanford in late April, benefiting the Wixom Lake Association, a nonprofit with a goal of improving and maintaining the waterways of the Titabawassee and Tobacco River systems known as Wixom Lake. They're trying to gather funds in larger amounts so that they can do the work to repair the seawalls to greater degree and get everything else in order so that when the water comes back, we can accept it uh, and we don't have any repeats. But Miranda hopes to be on repeat, coming back to help as often as she can to the familiar stage that birthed her incredible gift. I think it's super important that all of our sister cities and people who weren't directly impacted by those dams breaking and all those floods and all the home damage that insurance couldn't cover for people, I think it's very important that we remember that that's still going on and that they still need help. And Miranda put on quite a show in Sanford. The benefit concert raised $3,800 for the Wixom Lake Association. Thank you so much for tuning in to our special tonight. We leave you now with an aerial view of the recovery as mid-Michigan continues rising from the floods.